We can approximate the size of the nucleus by looking at the following situation. We have this alpha particle of charge plus 2e is traveling towards this gold nucleus, which is also positive, but with a charge of plus 79e. Now, if we think about it, as this alpha particle is traveling towards it, it will lose its kinetic energy and it will reach a distance of closest approach, be losing speed, let's say it will reach somewhere there, and then it will start traveling back in the other direction. If we were able to find this distance, which in reality will probably be a little bit closer to the nucleus, we will be able to have an idea of the size of the nucleus. In this problem, kinetic energy is being converted to potential energy. If the kinetic energy is 4.6 mega electron volts, which is actually a typical energy at which an alpha particle may be emitted from some alpha particle emitters via alpha radiation, for instance, we can set the two formulas equal to one another. So I can say that the kinetic energy has turned to potential energy. Now, what is the formula for potential energy? Remember, potential energy is essentially equal to one of the charges multiplied by the other one of the charges divided by 4 pi. Then we have a constant epsilon naught multiplied by the distance r. Now, when all of that kinetic energy, 4.6 mega electron volts, has turned into potential energy, which is right here, let's say, the distance will be R. It may not be quite the nucleus, but it will give us an idea of how large the, or how small the nucleus actually is. Well, let's plug in some numbers. So let's say that our kinetic energy that's been transferred to potential energy is 4.6 mega electron volts, and that is turned to Q. Now, one of the charges is going to be 79E multiplied by the other charge, which is just 2e, and then we're going to be dividing that by 4 pi epsilon naught multiplied by r. Let's rearrange for the distance r, and what we're going to get is that r will be equal to 79e times 2e divided by 4 pi epsilon naught multiply by 4.6. Now let's convert the 4.6 mega electron volts to standard units. So this will just give us 4.6 multiplied by mega, which is 10 to the power of six, and convert from the electron volt to joules. All I need to do is just multiply by the elementary charge. Okay, now one of those here is going to be cancelled and what I'm left with is 79 times 2 times the elementary charge which is just 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. Then I'm going to be dividing that by 4 pi. The value of epsilon naught is just 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12 multiplied by 4.6 times 10 to the power of 6. When we put this into a calculator, we get a number which is about 4.94 times 10 to the power of minus 14 meters. Now on these small scales, the world is very, very strange and quantum effects are dominant. Have a look at my next video in which we do three sample calculations explaining why quantum mechanics is invisible on a large scale and this will really help you further your understanding of atomic and quantum physics.